Hello, my name is Miguel Mata, and this is the This Way Out podcast, a component of the This Way Out project. This podcast is my attempt to address a few topics that can be especially challenging for some, but hopefully in a way that speaks to the humanity in each of us. It's my attempt at being a source for positive messages in a time where such messages can be hard to find. Good morning, it's Thursday, May 7th, 2020. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? I hope this podcast episode is reaching you and you are in good health and that you are well and you're in good spirits. I really do hope that for you. Doing okay on this end. Doing okay on this end. Everything seems to be okie dokie, hunky dory and all that stuff. Just trying to stay occupied, trying to keep the mind busy and whatnot. You know, there are so many, uh, there are only so many Uh, yards you can mow and there are only so many movies you can watch and TV shows you can watch and etc and so forth before you just need to go take a walk which I've done that a few times too but uh, so much so far so good so far so good and I hope the same for you guys Um, listen uh, I wanted to kind of shift gears today with uh, the podcast episode and try and kind of lighten things up if possible you know i really i really feel like you know i have a tendency to kind of i don't know man it just gets so heavy i get so heavy and it just seems like it's just like i don't know maybe it's just me maybe it's just me i need some feedback i need to know how i need to know how these things are coming out so uh you know i'm trying to keep i want to keep things light you know today i want to try to do things a, a little differently well, not too much, not too differently, but a little differently. I want to kind of shift gears. A lot of the focus for the last few episodes have been, it's been mostly directed to people, you know, who might need help. Directed toward people who might need help. And today I just want to do something just a tiny bit different. I want to try to, I want to do this podcast for people who might be trying to help. You know, maybe you know somebody who's struggling. Maybe you know who's somebody who's, who, um... Well, you know, maybe you just know somebody who who needs uh, some help, you know, who probably could use a pat on the back or something like that, who could use a friend or or whatever, and and, and you know that they, they kind of have some difficulty with coming out of their shell, or they have some difficulty talking to people or talking to others or in, in groups and that sort of stuff, you know. Um, I just, I wanted to, to try to provide some some advice maybe or some tips or something like that you know to try to help you know without further ado let me uh let me go ahead and get started here first of all let me uh let me share this one little tidbit (sighs) not everyone who isolates themselves not everybody who doesn't talk a lot not everybody who not everybody who doesn't fit in not everybody needs help you know there are certain personalities out there that are you know they can be standoffish you know what i mean or they prefer to be by themselves or they prefer to be um you know introverted types peoples you know people are just some people are just built that way so not everybody needs help you know like um and i only mention that because you know, for some people, it can be very uncomfortable if you get in their face. It's like, hey, man, how come you never, uh, how come you never talk, or how come you never hang out, or how come you don't ever come out, or how come you're so quiet, or how come you, you know, you ask all these questions and that. <laughs> that's, uh, uh, talking from experience here, you know, that that stuff can be a little overwhelming for people who are who are typically low energy. I fall into that trap fairly often. I fall, in, I, you know, that's that's kind of tough for me, especially you know if I'm um in in new circles and uh, not everybody is that way and you know you usually find that stuff out pretty quick so i just wanted to put that out there first you know if you know somebody who's a little standoffish they're a little introverted they're they don't do a whole lot of talking they don't do a lot of hanging out it might not necessarily be that those people you know need help they're just that kind of person so um you know when when dealing with these type of people you know, it's important to have conversation. Conversation is the foundation of, of, you know, the whole relationship 
process when you're trying when it comes to helping people so i don't know i don't know exactly the point i'm trying to make there i'm trying to make a point not doing a very good job and i realize that i'm not going to cut this out because this is self-talk stuff that is good for me so (laughs) i i just i just need to put that out there not everybody needs help sometimes you get in somebody's face and they're like hey dude would you just back off i'm fine you know (laughs) you get that sometimes that happens but um so it can it can sometimes be tough to determine who needs help, who wants help, you know that sort of stuff. Uh, what's important is that if you if you actually do, if you if you know somebody who actually does like they have their issues and and that sort of stuff, and you want to you you, you know they they need legitimate help, and you want to be that person to help them, then you know then this is this is what I'm talking about. The first thing for me is like I find humor to be a good way of of lightening up an environment or or kind of turning things, you know, um, back into the positive. Um, I've got a, I have a plethora of dad jokes at my disposal that I like to use to kind of break the ice and try to, you know, lighten the mood for some people. Um, it, 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 they come in handy. They're not always effective, but I just, I find humor as a, a good source of, you know, helping somebody break out of a funk. You know, all, once again, it all depends on the person. Some people don't, don't, some people just, some people get upset. You know, if they're upset, let's say they're upset about something, they're, they're processing something, um, you know, they got something weighing heavy on their mind and you're trying to make light of it, making jokes. Sometimes that can come off as, you know, you don't appreciate their situation and you're making fun of them. You know, it, that happens sometimes, but either way, you won't know that until you, actually have a conversation so you know try a little humor try a little humor if you got somebody who needs to come out of a funk try a little humor tell a few dad jokes look them up you can google that stuff knock knock who's there tuna fish tuna fish who you can tune a piano but you can't tune a fish you know that sort of stuff i know it's it's lame it's lame but sometimes it can you know what what the important thing is is that there's like a little wall there, right? There's a little wall. There's a little barrier in between you and that person. You got to try to poke a hole in, right? So that way you can get that person out of that funk and help them out. You know, it it's not always it's not always easy to get through, and it's all and and you know sometimes you're not going to be able to get through it. But one way of trying to get a person out of that funk pull them out of that funk, poke that hole in that funk and pull them out of that humor. Humor is, is pretty good way. So hey, listen, learn some dad jokes, tell a few jokes, try to make light, you know, share a story or something like that. To kind of lighten the mood with some humor. Um, I think we've, we've made that point. Um, here's nothing. Sometimes the difficulty in connecting uh, and, and, and connections, making connections for some of these folks, right? Is sometimes their interests aren't necessarily shared by a lot of people. So they have particular interest. I don't know, comic books, cars, airplanes, um, basket weaving. I don't know, you know, do a little, do a little research and ask and, and make this a, a, a topic of conversation. One word of caution here though, Um, only speak to stuff that, that you're comfortable with talking about. You don't want to fake your way through it because that comes off as, as insincere and, you know, insincere conversation with people who are struggling with like, um, you know, mental health, anxiety, depression, you know, they're just sad or they're standoffish, insincere conversation. It, it doesn't do very well. So whatever genuine interest you can take into their interests that works better so if you don't know much about like what they're interested in like you know something you know that they're interested in a specific something but you don't know much about it well have them teach you about it right why don't you tell me a little bit about this i don't know much about comic books you know or i don't know much about this video game that you play all the time you know i know that you're interested in i'm so out of touch um minecraft right i know you're into minecraft uh i don't know much about it what's what's so interesting about it can you tell me about it and then you know take take a genuine interest in it they're gonna if they if you can get them talking about something they enjoy 
this person enjoys or has an interest in, then yeah, absolutely, you know, take a genuine interest in it, listen. Typically, at least in my experience, when someone is able to talk about something that they are interested in, there's something they like, you know, that just that has a tendency to help, be very helpful. Get somebody, you know, feeling good again, right? Get them in the positive. But uh, don't fake it, you know, especially don't fake it because um, it'll it'll come off as insincere and then you'll just be doing your, you know, you'll be you'll be um, digging yourself a hole rather than help trying to be helpful. You know, most importantly, if you know that, you know, you're going to be um, having this sort of conversation with somebody, you know, that needs that needs help with something. Um, just letting them know that, that you're an open ear. That's usually all these people need is to know that, that somebody is willing to listen. Somebody's willing to listen and, um, and that you're available as long as that these people know that they have someone who is going to be there to listen. That's a big step. If you can establish that message with the person, trust me, it'll go a long way. It'll go a long way. And then if you can at least set the foundation for that on one occasion, you can more than likely come back on another occasion and reopen a dialogue to try to, you know, help that person out again. So um, that's just, you know, that's just experience. You know, if you can, you're open minded, if you're if you're um, open to what um, this, a person is experiencing, uh, open to what the emotions that they're experiencing, the feelings that they're experiencing, and you can take a genuine interest and in, and you you can be sincere about about and empathetic about whatever they're experiencing. You can you can be a lot of help. You, it'll be a lot of help. Trust me when I tell you, it'll be a lot of help, and and they're more likely to open up to you again um, on more than one occasion. One nugget of caution, and here I am doing a podcast, giving advice, trying to provide advice. <laughs> My one piece of advice is be careful with how much advice <laughs> that you share and that you try to provide. There should definitely be a two-way conversation taking place. However, you know, the person who needs the help, they should have the they should have the the opportunity to do the most talking, you know, and um the person who is helping should be doing the most listening and whatever opportunities there are for whoever is helping to either talk or provide input or provide advice that sort of stuff you know you're gonna have to feel that out but it's it's all at the it's all at the discretion of whoever's having the difficulty does that make sense but if you're trying to if you're trying to help someone just be mindful of that and You know, you should be okay. You should be okay. In the end, what it really boils down to is, you know, what what's in your heart? What's in your heart? What? How do you feel? How do you feel? Are you genuinely trying to be helpful? In most cases, from my experience, if you have a genuine interest in helping someone, that will typically come out, and a person who is who needs the help will appreciate that. But once again, I go all the way back to the beginning. You know, they, it can be tough. It can be tough to, to break down walls. So there's a, there's a, a, a level of patience that has to be exercised there. You know, some people don't necessarily want help. Um, and it can be hard to, to know someone who needs the help. You're trying to help, but they're pushing back and, you know, um, it, it, that it can be tough. It can definitely be tough. So just, you know, I can... Um, just keep that in mind, okay? Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. It's open, it, let the person know you want to help them. The lines of communication are open. There's no judgment here. I want to help you. Usually, you set that foundation from the start. You're gonna be able, you're gonna be able to help, right? You're gonna be able to help, or you're at least gonna be able to to get people talking, right? And then at that point, it's you know, it's about listening. It's about listening. It's mostly about listening. Um, that, that usually is the hardest part for me though. Honestly, the part where it's just about listening, because I I do have a tendency to want to help people. Hence the podcast. I want to help people. I want to, I want to try to help people feel better. I want people to feel better about themselves. I want people to feel better about the world that they live in. And, you know, 
that's the that's kind of the whole point behind this this podcast but when it comes to to the actual helping part it's the listening that that really goes a long way so just keep that in mind keep that in mind if you're if you're someone who's trying to help another person who's kind of feeling down and out and and anxious and and that sort of stuff okay um yeah that's all i got for now um we're coming up on the end of our time so that's all i got for now uh we'll probably do a a follow-up um we'll probably do a follow-up podcast episode on this particular subject but for now you know we'll we'll end it there hey i appreciate you guys listening i appreciate you guys taking the time um once again i hope you guys are well i hope you guys are well i hope you're in good spirits um take care and um you guys yeah take care of yourselves and talk to you again on monday god bless this has been the this way out podcast a part of the this way out project if you enjoyed this episode and you want to hear future episodes please subscribe if you would like to get in touch with me to recommend future topics provide feedback or for any other reason you can comment on the episode or send me an email at thiswo.light at gmail.com. That's T-H-I-S-W-O dot L-I-G-H-T at gmail.com. If you're interested in the other aspects of the This Way Out project, be sure to visit my website at thiswo-light.com. Thank you.